Hello world, Robert James Hoffman III here. So you guys talked, and I listened, and by an overwhelming majority, most of the comments went towards me breaking down the knee spin for the next tutorial, which looks a little something like this. <laughs> Wow! The knee spin is a great trick. It's very flashy and it's very uncommon. For all you professional dancers out there, it's a killer eye grabber for your auditions. And for all you social dancers, it's just an awesome show off move. So let's get started. Now, you are definitely going to need a knee pad, and I recommend a very thick one for this. Matter of fact, when I was rehearsing for Step Up 2, I was wearing two knee pads as I worked on it because basically skin was falling off my knee. Fundamentals. First things first, figure out which way you spin naturally. Literally just stand up and spin. Don't think too hard about it. You're either going to spin to the left or you're going to spin to the right. And that'll determine which way you go on your knee spin. But we're going to go with the right side because that's what most people are going to do anyway. So, you're going to start with your feet a little bit more than shoulder width apart. Start with your arms to the left. This will help with momentum. Now slowly turn your body to the right while lowering yourself onto your left knee and opening your arms at the same time. From here, the turn will begin and you'll slowly bring your arms in to build momentum. Whack! 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 So now let's put those things together a little bit faster. From the left, you slowly lower down, open your arms, close your arms in, stop. Oh god, that was just awful. There's a lot of things we can do to help tighten this up. Here we go. First things first, keep your head up. It's going to be your tendency to look down to control the floor and see where you're at, blah, 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 but that's only going to take your balance away from you. Secondly, make sure your hips stay forward. Your tendency is going to be to sit backward in your hips to try to gain more control or something like that, but it's not going to work. You have to be something of a pole from your knee to your shoulders, so your hip has to be forward to make that pole-like thing. Now, as you may have already noticed, you can slightly brush the ground with the top of your back foot or the side of your front foot, and that'll help you to get back onto balance, but it also slows you down a little bit, so if you want to do more turns, you got to really find that center. Once you get really comfortable with it and you're only going to pop it out here and there when you're dancing, you're not going to need a knee pad anymore, especially if you're a rough and tough badass like myself. Practicing. So obviously once you've lowered down, you're already a quarter of the way around. Finishing that is one turn, but it's not nearly as flashy as two. I'd say two is about the minimum. So let's go for two turns. Don't forget to keep your hips forward and use the front or back foot to counterbalance if you need it. Ready? Okay. Swing left, slowly bring it down, arms out, close, spin twice, stop. Come on, try it again, I'll do it with you. Swing left, slowly bring it down, arms out, close, spin twice, stop. Okay, screw it. Now let's go fast and be ninja-y with it. Up. Now, at the end, put your left hand on the ground in front of you. Up. It makes me feel like Thor. Now let it rip. See how many turns you can do. There's a lot of other things you can choose to do out of the knee spin. You can whip the right knee back, go into a push-up, and do the whole rise-up move. Keep doing this until you find out how many knee spins you can do, but two is usually musically concise and flashy enough, and three or more starts to become a little bit more inconsistent. When I was rehearsing for Step Up 2, I was practicing these things like every day. I got up to about six. Don't believe me? Watch. But if you really want to get up to those higher numbers of turns, you might need to watch the advanced training section. But don't get discouraged. Pretty much anyone can pull off two knee spins without years and years of practice. And it looks pretty rad. All right, you nailed it. High five. So there you have it, the knee spin. Good luck, be amazing. Don't forget what we was talking about last time. Last time I told you all you gotta do is be coming up on the comment section and be telling me which uh, dance move you want me to do next. And you know I'm gonna end up doing one of them things, so go ahead and tell me all the ones you wanna do by the name. My name is Quick Juan, don't get it wrong. But I can pretty much assure you the next ones are gonna be the glide, my special glide, and the rise up. Please do reach out to me on Twitter and Instagram at HoffmanRobert. Facebook, I'm Robert Hoffman Fans. And if you want to get yourself a Yes Dance t shirt or an Urban Ninja t shirt or the almost sold out Dance Celebrity t shirts, then go to punchrobert.com forward slash gear forward slash. If you like the music from this video or any of my other videos, they're probably on my iTunes account, Robert James Hoffman III. Link is in the description below. What? I love you, Punch Robert Army. Ow, ow shoot. I'm going to use that one.